Sweet Leaf is the brand name for the first and only great tasting, all natural, zero calorie stevia based sweetener offered in America. It was first introduced in 1996 as a dietary supplement. Then, after some of the most stringent scientific research on its safety and its unique ultra pure formulation, Sweet Leaf Stevia Sweetener became the very first stevia based product to achieve gras status. Sweet Leaf Stevia Sweetener has a delicious sweet flavor and is the only sweetener in the world that is 100% natural with zero calories, zero carbs, and a zero glycemic index. Stevia is derived from a plant that grows as a small shrub in parts of Paraguay and Brazil. Stevia has been used to sweeten beverages and medicines since pre-Columbian times, and now it's here to sweeten your fabulous recipes. Tonight, we're visiting the Oak Room at the Plaza Hotel here in New York. And Chef Eric Hura will be creating some delicious and unique recipes using this natural sweetener. Let's go into the kitchen with Eric. Hello, my name is Eric Hara. Welcome to my kitchen at the Oak Room. Uh, the first dish I'm going to prepare actually is a seared Scottish salmon. So let's start with this first. We're going to season our salmon with a little salt, a little pepper. We're going to get a very hot pan, a little bit of oil. So with the salmon, we're going to serve a little uh, crushed fingerling potato, crumb fresh, and a little horseradish. So to heat this up, the potatoes have been cooked and just crushed up a little bit. We're going to add them to the pot, a little crumb fresh. You can use sour cream if you don't have crumb fresh, a little horseradish. And we're just gonna let that heat up a little bit. Time to flip the salmon. So here we browned it on one side. We're just gonna do a quick flip. All right, you wanna brown both sides. Keep it a medium rare. On top of the salmon, we're gonna serve a little young watercress salad. This is hydroponic watercress. We'll take a little of that. We'll take a little frisee. And we're just going to toss this in a basic vinaigrette. So as you're making the vinaigrette, if you find it to be a little acidic, you could add a drop of the sweet leaf sweetener just to take the acidic edge off of the vinaigrette. So everything's ready. I'm going to start plating. I'm going to take a little scoop of potatoes. Drain the fish a little bit of the oil. Right on top. I have a little sauce that I made with a little butter, a little horseradish. And we're just gonna spoon that around the salmon. We're just gonna finish it with the salad. Here it is, seared salmon with horseradish fingerling potatoes. Now the next dish we're gonna prepare is a tomato salad with hearts of palm and cucumber. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the vinaigrette. So here we have a little Japanese rice vinegar. I'm gonna add about one cup. Here we have a little mirin, which is a sweet rice cooking wine. Again, about one cup. This is Thai fish sauce. A couple drops, I'd say about one tablespoon. Chopped shallots. We have mint, fresh mint, little basil, and a little cilantro that we're gonna chop up. Add that to the salad. All right, so we're gonna chop the herbs. Doesn't need to be perfect, just a rough chop. Next, we're gonna add a couple drops of the Sweet Leaf Sweetener, which is a natural sweetener. This is a lemon flavored, you really wanna go easy, about one, two, two drops. So we're gonna cut the tomatoes. So I have a different variety of tomatoes here. Slice some cucumbers. Here we have fresh hearts of palm also, we're gonna slice pretty thin. And now we're gonna plate the salad. So we're just gonna arrange the slices. Next we put the cucumbers. Then we put the hearts of palm. So there's the salad, how we're gonna plate it. Now we're just gonna spoon the vinaigrette on top. And that's it. A nice summer tomato salad with cucumbers and hearts of palm.
right, the next dish we're gonna prepare is gonna be a little Greek yogurt sweetened with the sweet leaf stevia, granola, and mixed berries. So the first we wanna do is make the yogurt. Greek yogurt's nice and thick and we wanna keep it like that. We have a sweet leaf uh, stevia hazelnut flavor. We're gonna add a couple drops of that, not too much. Gonna mix that in. Give you a good hazelnut flavor. Add that to the bottom of our bowl. Fresh blackberries. Raspberries. And blueberries. And then we have uh, house-made granola that we're just gonna top. And that's it. A quick yogurt granola recipe. Whether swirling sweet leaf in your coffee, savoring it in your favorite recipes, or sprinkling sweet leaf on top of your favorite foods, sweet leaf fans across the globe have helped sweet leaf stevia sweetener achieve sweet success. And now it's here in America. Sweet leaf stevia sweetener is available at thousands of stores across the country. You can find out more at sweetleaf.com.